episode, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! Let's pay off the old man there, and try and kill off all these dark notes. Just keep on bombing them until something happens. That'll work. Well, there's more of them. Just kind of split up. What is this, Final Fantasy III? No, no. Okay, well, I'm not doing too bad. Would have been nice if I could have gotten a... Another bomb, or a fairy, but uh, I should be able to make it through the dungeon, okay? Won't have to use a potion. Especially since I don't have one. I just haven't gotten the money yet for it. Not... Okay, come on. There... Okay. Whoa. Super slow mo. Man, my bombs aren't really working on these guys too well. I want to be careful here. Ooh, two with one sw strike. Not bad, not bad. Well, I'm not doing too bad in this room, but I would like to be able to kill these guys. More. Well, that sort of worked. I should be able to beat the boss. For boss time! Without dying, that is. Alright. Well, that was easy enough. Could be worse. Now there's only one more dungeon to go. It's relatively short, so we should be fine. I'm just trying to think of what's the fastest way to get there. Probably just... Yeah, probably just go back to the beginning. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I'll do it. I'll just go back to the beginning and warp to where I uh, need to go. I'll have to warp to heal up, too, but whatever it takes. Uh, one more to go. Not bad, not bad. And I still don't have the money because, well, in the second quest, money is rather tight. And, you know, why buy a potion when I'm not going to use it in the first eight dungeons? Final dungeon, I might use one. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to, you know, re-record the episode over and over and over again until I can make it through without uh, having to use a potion. I will try really hard, but if it comes down to it... Sorry, I mean, this... You know, I'm not doing a challenge run. I'm not a masochist. So... I will do my best, viewers. But first things first, we need to heal up here. And let's see, the left one will take me back, the middle one takes me to the northeast, so logically... HA! I knew it! Yeah, you, you've been after playing this game for almost 30 years. Well, more like 25 years. But still. I still haven't memorized all this stuff yet. I'm gonna leave one of the Patras there so the rest of those Lynels don't respawn. Oh yeah, someone wanted me to show off something where if you press against these grave or tombs, you get all these guys coming out of there. And if you kill them, or the leader, then the rest of them drop rupees, so that's one way you could uh, make some money. I prefer gambling myself because, well, I have a problem. But that is one way you can do that. So let's head on through level six. Let's see, I'll probably want to have the candle here. Well, not necessarily, but it would be nice. How did I do that? Wow, I'm surprised I did that. Okay, let's see. Let's get the bombs going. I think this is a w wall that I have to bomb. Did the bomb just work on those witch robes? I didn't think bombs worked on witch robes, like, at all. Maybe that was the like likes that it worked on. Okay, yeah, I don't want them eating my shield. Just make it through. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. Well, let's see, I think we can actually uh, 
get something out of this room, so I'm gonna try and kill these guys if I can. Ha! You are no match for my magic! Yeah, just fry those hamburgers. Or pancakes, as some people like to call them. I don't know, they don't really... Oh, right, we walk through this wall. Careful. Let's just go through here. And pick up a treasure! I don't know what this map is supposed to look like. It's like, after a while, the maps, they don't really look like anything. They just stop trying. Not that it's a big deal at all. I'm just saying. Oh. Oh, right. That's not one of those bombable walls. I keep on forgetting which ones are bombable and which ones are the ones that you just walk through a secret passage. Yeah, it's always tough to remember those things. Oh. Right. Okay. Oh, you know what? There is one thing I wanted to show you guys. As long as we have a room where I can do that in. If you actually take up one of those movable blocks, you can just push it onto another block like that. Not that there's really any strategic reason to do that, but it's there. So, just something to keep in mind. Okay, well, we almost got one. There. I'm trying to stop, stop myself from saying, there we go, over and over and over again, because I've gotten myself into a bad habit. So... That's not a good catchphrase in my book. Alright! Now let's see what we got here. We got... Red Bubbles. You know what? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I might not be able to make it through there without my sword, but... Well, apparently I was. Usually I am not this good at dodging the Red Bubbles. For some reason... I'm doing a lot better than I otherwise would. Okay, so let's get out the bow and the arrows. For boss time! What the? I can't hide! Just like, I don't know if it's every other boss fight with Goma, but usually uh, you can hide. Like in the doorway and just wait him out, but apparently I can't do that now. Ah, oh, come on! One more. Show me that pretty eye of yours. Yeah! Alright. Wow, that was enormously easier than I thought it would be. Alright, well, we got the full Triforce. We have pretty much everything we need. So, let's move along then to the final dungeon. Uh, I think we got enough bombs. So, um, let's see... Oh, right. Um, yeah, I think, er, no, this would be closer. I was going to say warp to level 1 to get to level 9, but then I realized, wait a minute, we're in the second quest here. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we'll just walk to level 9 then. Why not? Could use the fresh air after being in those dungeons for so long. Oh, you know what? I don't have, uh, a potion yet. So, uh... Yeah, let me get the money for that. Whoops. Good thing I remembered that just now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wow. Okay, well. There's all the money <laughs> that I need. <laughs> wow. I have never seen that before. I am seeing so many things in this LP that I just never saw before in playing this game for 25 years. Okay, well, we got the red potion. Is there anything else I'm missing? No, I think we got everything. Okay. Well, now I actually need to heal up, so... Oh, well. We got a little extra time today. Why not? Oh, right. I don't need uh, to kill these guys. I was thinking it was one of those things where you had to kill all the enemies in order to unlock the secret passage. But no, no, it doesn't work like that. 
I was going to say I'm going to uh, just gamble off screen to get the money for the red potion, but apparently the game decided not to let me do that. So, but anyway, we're all healed up. Oh, you know, I could have bought some more bombs, but, well, nuts to that. I've got enough bombs. And if I don't, well, I'll just find some more. Let's see if this trip is uh, any easier than it was last time. With, uh, I think I still only had the wooden sword at the time, didn't I? Well, being able to one-shot these guys will help a lot. I just gotta worry about these boulders. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me again. Okay, never mind. Maybe I can get a potion from these guys. Or a heart. Heart? No. Just like that ring on Captain Planet. Heart! Nuts. Well, this is not a good start. Oh, okay. Maybe it is a really good start then. <laughs> Alright, so if you bomb this wall, you can get into level 9. Can I make it through to the end without using a potion? Find out next time on the finale of the second quest of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!